Hey guys, what's happening? So, it's been a while since I played with my laser cutter, and um, one of the reasons why I haven't really been playing it very much is just that it didn't have a it didn't have a bed, so I had issues with burning underneath, um, you know, cutting material like cutting through the material, then it would hit underneath like another wood material and then flame up, creating a bunch of uh, you know, dark burn spots on the bottom of the wood. So um, I'd kind of been looking around for a while for some sort of like you know, laser bed. Something that actually wouldn't allow me to penetrate through and like burn the underneath material. Um, and also like if you ever look at the higher end like CO2 lasers that you see on like uh, AliExpress and Amazon, they actually all have like a metal bed which allows the laser to penetrate all the way through. So it, it, it helps uh, you know, protect the bottom of the material, especially wood. But uh, I got this on uh, Amazon. We'll put a link down below. And it's actually a honeycomb that I haven't looked at yet, so it's supposed to be a honeycomb board. Uh, it's like 50 bucks, ship, free shipping. And it's actually with local here in California, so it ships out pretty fast. But this is supposed to be a honeycomb board. So I'm going to open this up real fast. We'll look at it. I don't know if it's going to actually have a bottom material, but I might have to put a a piece of galvanized steel or something on there to protect it. Okay. There we go. All right, so. So I purposely measured this when I got it, and it's actually honeycomb board, as you can see. It should be galvanized steel. You don't really want aluminum because it's kind of soft, but with aluminum you get a lot of reflection. Refraction. That's kind of what I'm worried about. Um, you know, is having the laser come back into your eyes, and even not wearing laser goggles will jack your eyes up. Um, one thing actually I'm kind of not happy about is that it doesn't have a back piece, so I might get a piece of galvanized steel to prevent the laser from going all the way through to the, the bottom. But like what I was saying, I, I had measured this to fit down here. So hopefully I should just rest around here. If I can get it in there. There we go, see? And then basically it's just going to be my little laser table. But So there's two different... I don't want the laser to burn the ground, the whatever I'm going to be underneath it, you know, like, the, like my wooden test bench here. So what I wanted to do was go buy a piece of, you know, galvanized sheet metal and put it on the bottom to prevent the laser go through, going all the way through and hitting this wood right here and cutting the, and carving the wood there. So I'm either going to get a galvanized sheet for the bottom here, you know, maybe I'll attach it to the bottom or I'll just take apart the framing and put it inside the framing. Uh, yeah, you don't really want to use, like I said, aluminum because aluminum is more reflective than galvanized steel. You don't want the laser beam to come back in your eyes, <laughs> to bank off the aluminum and, hit and, and disperse in your eyes or throughout the room. So, um, yeah, that's actually this is also why it's, the honeycomb is nice. It's going to prevent a lot of the reflection and refraction from going different angles and stuff. So, hopefully, it's going to block this, you know, and kind of absorb the laser. So, all right, cool. The thing's like fifty bucks. Um, so, I'm going to be doing some more upcoming videos of me actually printing on this thing, but I thought I'd show it to you. You know, if you're wondering, like, if you had a, one of these cheaper laser cutters, like the CO2 laser cutters, like, already have the bed built into them and with the box. But all these cheaper, like, laser ones, are, you know, this, this is a home-built one, a 3D printed laser cutter that I built, but, you know, all the cheaper ones you buy on, on eBay and Alibaba, they don't have a, they don't have a, a bed. So, this is, a, I think, a, a perfect bed solution for a laser cutter. So, all right, cool.